Hi everyone, I am Priyansha Agwar and welcome back to my channel. Recently I applied for the SD1 role at Flipkart and guess what, got selected. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about what was the overall interview experience like, what was the overall set of rounds, what kind of questions were asked in each round. So without wasting our time, let's start discussing about my interview experience at Flipkart. But before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it as we have planned for more such amazing content for our channel. So in May, I guess around 10 May, I applied for the SD1 role at Flipkart. And the most frequently asked question from me is that, how do you find these opportunities? Uh, from where do you get to know about these opportunities? So I got the form for Flipkart through LinkedIn. So my one advice would be for you is that be active on LinkedIn and do join the Telegram groups. There are various Telegram groups which regularly post about these opportunities. So do join them so you don't miss these kind of opportunities. So there were overall four rounds among which one was online assessment round and then three interview rounds and from the three interview rounds two were PSDS rounds and one was the HM round. So let's start discussing about each round one by one in detail and I will also tell you the what kind of questions were asked in each round. So guys the first round of Flipkart was the online assessment round and its duration was 90 minutes consisting of three questions. And the difficulty level of questions was medium to hard. And as I remember, the questions were related to DP and graphs. And the most important thing is that you was not required to solve all the three questions to get shortlisted for the interview. And as I was able to solve the two complete questions and for the third one, my two test cases were failing. But some of my friends who solved two questions Two complete questions also received the interview calls so it was not required to solve all the three questions to get shortlisted for the interview that's the plus point for you and uh, for everyone because in most of the cases we are not able to solve all the questions in that time frame so that's a good thing after one or two days of the online assessment I received an email that I have been shortlisted for the interview and my interview was also scheduled after one or two days only. So I don't have any time for any kind of these revisions because in one or two days we can't do any revisions of DSA or, or for CS fundamentals, nothing. So my one more advice for you would be that be ready for the interviews every time because if you are not ready, then you can miss an opportunity. Now the second round was PSDS round. In this round, they asked me two DSA questions and I was expected to code both the questions on Google Doc within around 50 minutes. Uh, my first question was related to stacks uh, and it was a variation of next greater element. So if you have practiced enough questions related to stacks, then you must have heard of it. And my second question was related to graphs and it was a very famous or I would say very standard question of graphs that is rotten oranges. And it's just the case that there was something else in place of oranges in my case. So it was a pretty standard question. I was first expected to explain the brute approach and then the optimal approach and then followed by a discussion on the time complexity. And they also asked me to check my code on some corner cases. Although they were not expecting me to run the code on those cases, but they are expecting me to dry run the code in front of them so that they can understand my problem solving is case. That whether I am able to understand that approach or not. So they asked me to dry run the approach on those corner cases. So this was pretty interesting and I would rate the overall difficulty level of this round as medium. Because if you have solved, if you have practiced is this kind of very famous questions then this round should not to be very difficult for you. 
and the process was also quite fast as within one hour i got the call that i have been shortlisted for the second round of the interview and this my my second round of the interview was scheduled after 2 hours only so obviously i don't have any time, more time to prepare for the another round now the round 3 was also the psds round in this round also they asked me two dsa questions which i was expected to code on google docs within around 50 minutes and in this round my first question was related to substring and my second question was related to dynamic programming which is a difficult level question of dp so in this round also i was first expected to explain the blue approach and then the optimal approach and then followed by a discussion on the time complexity so i would rate the overall difficulty level of this round as medium hard because the complete process was same as the prior round but the level of question was little bit higher than the previous one so i would rate the overall difficulty as medium hard for this round and on the same day i received an email that i have been shortlisted for the last round of the interview which was the hiring manager or hm round and which is going to be scheduled for the next day now the last round was the hiring manager round in this particular round they were judging my core value skills team ethics what kind of work i have actually done in my past internships in this round they have asked me questions related to my resume and what kind of work i have done at amazon so you should be prepared for any kind of questions in this round like uh, i have mentioned in my resume that i am in top 15% at read good so uh, one in the random and interesting question he asked from me is that if uh, you are in top 15% at read code and your rank is this then what would be the rank of the last person something like that so you should be prepared for any kind of random questions in this round and you might also be asked some hr questions like any kind of team conflict you have managed or if you have led any team or any kind of hr questions so be prepared for them as well but i was not asked those kind of questions in my round so all this discussion went around for 40 minutes and i believe that the overall round was pretty positive and i was also very positive about the fact that most probably i will get selected for this role and on the next day i get i received my selection mail so i would say the overall interview experience if you see like the online assessment so i would rate it as medium hard psds1 as medium psds2 as medium hard and hiring manager as medium so the overall difficulty level of the interview process is a kind of above medium level so yeah guys if you enjoyed the video and if you got some really cool insights about the interview process at flipkart for sd1 role then do like the video do drop your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah if you are preparing for an interview for any company then do go through the interview experiences of that company on lead code or on gfg because they really provide good insights about the process what kind of questions were asked in each round or from that company so that you get some good idea to prepare for that company otherwise you will be going blindsided and anything can be asked so do go through the interview experiences before your interviews so yeah let's wrap up this video here we we'll meet in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring